King of Sports. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Welcome everyone to New Japan Strong, the final night of the Mutiny Tour. It's Ian Riccoboni, Alex Kozlov. Alex, we have two tag team matches and a dream rematch to conclude the Mutiny Tour. I've been looking forward to this one since their match almost seven years ago. Since then, they both traveled all over the world, arguably have gotten better, and here tonight we get to see them clash for the first time in seven years. We're going to see Big Demo take on Tomohiro Ishii. Uh, that's going to be exciting. You want to know why New Japan Strong is the most exciting show to watch every week? This is why. We get matches like these. Dream matchup. This is a rematch. Seven years in the making. These men have grown. They have attained success, accolades, championships. They collide today. And if history is any indication, this might be the, one of the most hard-hitting matches we've ever seen here on New Japan Strong. And speaking of history, Christopher Daniels returning to New Japan Strong, teaming with Alex Zane against a group that he has a lot of history with, and that's Bullet Club. And it's not just uh, Bullet Club. It's the ultimate finesser, Chris Bay, teaming with El Fantasmo. Are you kidding me? Is that? That's right. Did yeah, I do it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You got to roll your eyes back, uh, or stick the tongue out. You I, know, I don't think you're allowed to do this. I don't think so I'm either. Sorry. I think I got in trouble last time I did. I see you practicing at the hotel, though. And our opening contest is going to be a lot of fun. Four of the most promising up and coming stars we have seen here on New Japan Strong Yuya, Yuamura, and Kita taking on Lucas Riley and Kevin Blackwood. Now, Kevin Blackwood picked up a huge win last time we were here in Hollywood, defeating Arya Divari. Can he keep his momentum going here in California? Well, all these men are hungry and uh, just ready to show the world what they're about. <laughs> we're going to start things off with a tag team showcase right here on New Japan Strong. Today's opening match, tag match. One fall with a 20-minute time limit. Thanks once again for joining us here, the final night of the Mutiny Tour. Ian Riccoboni, Alex Kozlov coming at you. Four exciting young stars looking to make a name for themselves, including this man who picked up a victory a couple of weeks ago right here in this building, Alex. Of course, we were wondering at the time if Arya Divari would, would have a relapse, in the words that you said, but it was this man who was able to take advantage and pick up the victory. It'll be interesting to see if he can string a couple of matches together and get some momentum. You can wind up like Clark Connors did a couple of weeks ago, challenging for the championship. The strong open weight champion. Slow down wow. with these challenges. It's, Look, it's, Tom Waller, can Tom Waller get a day off? I mean, he's been holding the fort down for so long. But you got to start somewhere. And I'm thinking that Blackwood can, can win here today. That's two in a row. Two in a row becomes three in a row. You know, you gotta, your streak's got to start somewhere. And that could be said about this man, Yuya Yurimura. And his tag team partner with Chris me a couple of weeks ago in this same boat, Nikita. Yuya, ever since 
Lawrence uh, making his debut here on Strong. As, uh, you know, a fan's uh, support all around everywhere he goes. He has not been victorious in his matches, but the fire and passion that he shows has uh, garnered him this uh, support from fans all around. Certainly has, and he's been proven to be tough as nails. It's, it's almost a matter of time. We've seen it with other folks on excursion before. I remember calling Jay White's early matches in Ring of Honor when he was on excursion and seeing him develop. We're going to start things off with Yuya and Kevin Blackwood here. We said Blackwood coming off that big win against Arya Davari. That was an interesting match, and uh, you gotta wonder, you know, where is Arya Dabari, and uh, what is he thinking? What's his mental state? Nice go behind here. Blackwood likes to look for that sharp shooter. We know that Yuya can look for variations of the Boston Crab. Ooh, hammerlock! Beautiful exchange there. Do a snapmare takeover, and Yuya with control here. Man, what a stacked card we have for you here tonight. Our main event, the main event of the whole tour, Tomohiro Ishii taking on Big Demo. And we also have a featured tag team bout. See Alex Zane and Christopher Daniels take on Chris Bay and El Fantasma of the Bullet Club. Right, and great opening contest here. As Kevin Blackwood, nice fake out. Yuya, though, ducks out of the way, rolls through, arm drag. Oh, Kevin Blackwood with an answer. Oh, wow. Cover here. Look at this. Hip toss. Got it. Lateral press gets a one. Oh! That'll stop somebody in his tracks. And these guys have been move for move with one another so far. Forearm into the corner. Tag made. Lucas Riley in for the first time. Lucas Riley made his uh, debut on Strong when he faced off against Jonah. And the fact that he's still here, a survivor. Right. As impressive. Earned my respect that day. The fact that he's still walking against a guy like Jonah. Wrist lock here. Tag made. Akita, we've talked about Akita's background before, coming from the Scranton area. And folks may know that from where the office television show is, but I, as a resident of nearby Allentown, Pennsylvania, I'll tell you, those towns like Scranton, those industrial towns, you got to be tough to get out and make your name on a national or even international scale. No doubt about it. The fact that we see Cater here, you know, is a testament of the talent that he is. And look how snappy he is. Check this out. Oh, Ooh, up and over. Riley off the ropes. Hip toss. Wow, look at the way he counters. Caught the. Oh! What do you think of that, Ricky Bones? That's going to break your bones. That's one. Driving him <laughs> on his knee. That's no remorse. One way to stop an, an aerial artist like Riley for sure. And now with the advantage, Keita. Oh, hangs on, Riley. Ducking the right. Keita. Oh, look at the strength from Riley. Able to hang on to the gets to the corner. Wow. Blackwood. I am shocked that he was even able to Dude. pull that off after taking that the backbreaker. I mean, he has some recuperative abilities. Yeah. Front face lock here. Great tag team work here. Great combination. Oh. You could tell they got on the same game, pay, game plan here. Two count there. Yeah, they're working real well together. Knife edge chop across the chest, keeping him in the blue corner. Keita in a lot of trouble here. And look at this, very smart game plan here. You know, got in, got a few uh, moves in, tags out, you know, to stay fresh, not to use up all the energy. Irish whip into the corner, follows him in, nobody home on the backhand. Oh! oh. Snap there. Oh, wow. Drop kick to the back of the head. Innovative offense from Riley here. Hooks the leg. Two. Two count there. And Yuya trying to make some noise so that Keita can hear him, maybe get his adrenaline going a little bit, get the crowd involved. Because it's been all Blackwood and Riley at this point. Ooh. Forearm connects. Ooh. And another. Wow. Ducks out of the way, trying to get to his corner. Blackwood Almost. smartly 
Trying to bring so him back. Close, just a foot, six inches. Ducks the clothesline. Oh! And that was so smart by Blackwood. Ooh! Into a German suplex. Two! He used his own eagerness and momentum to bring him back toward the corner of Riley instead of toward his partner, Yu Yamura. Keita desperate to make that tag. And slowly, Kevin and uh, Lucas are wearing down Keita here. Oh! oh forearm on Yuya. Oh! Hey, Keita. Keita fighting back. Trying to get out of the, the wrong part of town. Catches the right. There you go. Breaker. Pops through. Ready clip. And Yuya Yamura's back. Arm extended. Can Keita make it? Looking to make a tag. Come on. Got yes. it. Yes. It's Yuya. Listen to the ovation. These people here in Hollywood are showing to Yuya Yamura. And Yuya looking for an Irish whip. Counter by Blackwood. Look at that! Connects with a forearm. Has him up. Big time body slam. Wow, shoulder tackle sends Riley down. Look at the fire of Yuya! Changing the tide of this match in just a few simple but dangerous movements from Yuya. And Blackwood now off the ropes. Wow, European oh. uppercut. Nice chop there. This time, able to connect. Back suplex, hooks the leg. Two. Lucas Riley tried to break that pin. Yuya let go. And you see Yuya had to, like you said, had to give up that pin. Oh. Oh. Where did that come from? Yeah. Blackwood finding a way, now makes the tag to Riley, who's just a little bit fresher, and this time sending down Keita. I gotta say, I'm really impressed the way Kevin Blackwood and Lucas Riley are working together. Yeah, it Beautiful feels, tag team work. It feels like Yuya and Keita are two good wrestlers teaming together. It feels like Riley and Blackwood are a team teaming together. Hooks the leg. Two. Keita just in time to break the pin. And Blackwood, though, right there. And Keita firing back with some forearms here. And Keita getting his money's worth on Lucas. Watch out, watch your back. Oh! Across the chest. And it's Riley. Oh! oh. Tries to do the same thing they did to Yuya, but Keita put up his knees. Now Irish whoop reverse. Blackwood being sent to the outside. Wow, very impressive. And now we're seeing some teamwork here from Yuya and Keita. Charging in! Big shoulder to the midsection. And Yuya! There you go. Oh! Keita with a super kick. Yuya. Inside oh. under hook, up and over. Up and under over on the suplex. Hooks the leg. Two. Oh, double stop to break things up. Wow. Body shots here from Blackwood. Inside the knee. Oh! Takes the head off of Blackwood. Oh! Wow, plants him down. It's Keita. Wow. Luca, oh. Lucas Riley pump kick there. German suplex. Got him! Shining wizard. Ducks the right. Oh, my God. It's a Gary Staggers, Yuya. Lucas Yuya. Riley is on fire. Yuya back to his feet. Oh! oh Frankensteiner! Frankensteiner! Two, three! Oh! Yuya Yamura pulls out. three seconds of the match. Your winners, the team of Kita and Yuya Do we call it a, a Yuya Steiner, a Frank and Yuya? I love that. That came out of nowhere. What a perfect execution to get the victory. You know what's strong, Yuya? He, he's, he's bouncing his way back at Lone Star Once Shootout. Again, your winners of the match, Kita and Uwe.
He picked up a win in that eight man, but in single competition, a tag competition, he was looking to get back on the winning side. He pulled something new out of the repertoire, and that was the difference here today, Alex. Well, what was impressive is that he uh, utilized a move that he normally doesn't use. The uh, opportunity, the circumstance was perfect for it. It presented itself, and Yuyo was able to use his instincts to execute, and that got his team a victory. What a win for Yuya and for Kita here on New Japan Strong. That's our first of two tag team bouts. Fans, coming up next, huge tag team contest. Alex Zane teams with Christopher Daniels to take on Bullet Club's Chris Bay and El Fantasmo. The greatest duo of Bullet Club, Chris Bay and El Fantasmo. It's all good, you know what? It's all good, you know what? A wise man once said, doesn't matter how many times we fall, just how it matters how many times we get back up. We lost today, but guess what? Me and Kev, we're gonna come back stronger. That was the first one, first time. Second time's gonna be better. Isn't that right? No, you lost. You lost the match for us. I I'm still 1-0 and in New Japan singles. I, no. Hey, hey, hey. hey you hey, lost hey. this match. Yo, Kevin. Match number two, tag match. Schedule one fall with a 20-minute time limit. That's right. It's time. Bullet Club, baby. Are you excited? Two of the most exciting athletes in New Japan return to strong. Formidable team. This guy always looks like he's on a different planet. Planet ELP. That's right. I mean, that's the planet that we all should be on. And you got one of the smoothest men in wrestling, Chris Bay. What a formidable tag team they have formed. You're talking about their individual accomplishments. Chris Bay, former Impact X Division champion. ELP, who's just about done it all in the IW Junior, IWGP Junior Heavyweight ranks, including two Super J Cups. Mr. Back to Back. Yes, sir. Representing Impact Pro Wrestling, the Bullet Club, 175 centimeters, 75 kilos. Representing the Bullet Club, 185 centimeters, 89 kilos, the head Hitmaker, El Fantasmo! Gary, he almost goes into a trance. I was in a trance, he got me. He pulled me in. Let's see it. That was sweet. That was all sugar. Exciting to see these two men together. Talk about trailblazers, though. Chris, Chris Bay, sort of the natural evolution of some of the great X Division stars over the years. ELP, the evolution of some of the great IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champions over the years. But this is a trailblazer who's put multiple companies on the map, whether you're talking about Impact, Ring of Honor, AEW, Christopher Daniels, the man on your left. He's the original trendsetter, the original. That's right, and he's still here going as strong as ever. I mean, the incredible matches he's put on against Jay White, for example. You like sauce? Daniels, former Ring of Honor World 
champion, former Impact X Division champion, NWA tag team champion, a man who's, who's, who's done it all, teaming with Alex Zane. And I guess the theme of this match is innovation. Have you seen some of the things Alex Zane has done, whether it was on Ring of Honor Supercard of Honor pay-per-view just a couple of weeks ago, whether it's here on New Japan Strong? This man has a new move every time we see him. No, he's, a, he's incredible. He is constantly evolving, innovating. Uh, this is going to be a spectacular contest. I mean, come on. Chris Bay, the ultimate finesser, and El Fantasmo, the headbanger. How sweet it is to see this match. And as we kick things off, I want to recognize the armband on the arm of Christopher Daniels. We're thinking of Otani at the time that this match is taking place. O o Otani, a great star, is suffering a, a very scary injury right now. We wish him and his family the best. Yes. Chris, this start things off here with Bay and Zane. Connor Novo tie up here. Side headlock, Chris Bay. The hair seems to be in the way there. Uh, oh, in the way. Is that, is, that what you're, is that what you're calling? I think his hand got caught in the web, the hair webs of Alex Zane there. Wrist lock here. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, that got caught. He, he grabbed it. Yeah, it's just your, the, the hair, it's just the color, you know? It's just like you want to grab it. It's I, like. It is a color. I'll yeah, give you that. Like, look at the color. I mean, good colors. Off the ropes. Nice drop down. Rolls through. Oh, you just blew him a kiss. That's finesse right there. That is just style and finesse. Oh, oh, head scissor takeover into the cartwheel. Ducks the right. Wow. 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 Off the ropes, Zane. Oh, oh man. Great. Driving both his knees to the back of. Oh, corkscrew. Goodness. And that's some finesse for you. No, that, that was. I got to give him a point for that one. There you see a, into the corner tag made to Christopher Daniels. You know, Christopher Daniels, no stranger to Bullet Club, had to defeat Bullet Club's Adam Cole to capture the Ring of Honor World Championship. And Bullet Club was generally a thorn in his side for most of his time in Ring of Honor from, I'd say, 2016 to 2018. Well, I mean, look, a Bullet Club is a thorn Two. to anybody's side. Except for you wearing their track suit. I saw you pull into the venue today. I Keep it on the hush-hush, these things, please, Ian. I call it right uh, as I see it, right down the middle. Shot to Daniels, tag made, and we're seeing ELP in for the first time. Off the ropes. And wow. Daniels sends ELP into Bay. How about that? And here we see Daniels. Look, I mean, uh, Christopher Daniels has had experience in Mexico as well, and we just saw shades of that deep arm drag. And Daniels, no stranger to identifying great young talent. Tag made. Think about his team with Elix Skipper back in That's right. NWT. Oh. Look at that great combination. Wow. Maybe looking for the same here with Alex Zane. And they're working in great harmony right now, very harmonious for Zane and Daniels. Alex Zane and Christopher Daniels must have, uh, you know, worked their strategy out at Taco Bell over some tacos well, and some hot sauce. We're out here on the West Coast. You don't prefer a good Del Taco? No, it's, uh, I, think, uh, I think Alex Zane is a Taco Bell guy. Cover, one, two. You know, Baja Blast, that's Taco Bell. Right. That's not Del Taco. Into the corner here. And it's Daniels with the advantage on ELP. Well, watch out for the nose of uh, El Fantasmo, please. The man needs to. Oh, hard headbutt. Taking, you know, sacrificing himself there a little bit. Yeah, likely took as much out of him as he did ELP. Now Irish whip and, and Bay with the knee. The referee saw it, but it allows ELP to come full head of steam. It's Daniels now with these jabs. Irish whip, great counter by ELP. Oh, and uh, Christopher Daniels must have tripped there oh, on the other side. Come on. And the uh, Phantasmo capitalizing. Wow. Oh, did he trip again? No, I, I did see, uh, you know, Chris Bay capitalize on a fallen Christopher Daniels. Uh, <laughs> fallen, oh. <laughs> fallen angel. Sending Daniels back in. Is that what they mean? Now in the corner, it's El Phantasmo tag made. Bullet Club finding their opportunity here. 
to keep Daniels trapped. Beautiful European by Chris Bay. Bay has Daniels in the blue corner. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Trio wall position. Phantasm. Oh! oh and just on. driving that foot into the inner thigh of Christopher Daniels there. Is this what the PNELP stands for? Maybe. Come on, come on, keep the sauce at bay. Okay, so you're telling me that, that the referee should should get Zane out of there while Phantasmo and Bay just do whatever they want to Christopher Daniels. Uh, the referee should uh, keep control of the things that he has control over. And Phantasmo, wow. oh my How about God, that that was the most vicious back break I've ever seen. Driving those nails into the back of Christopher Daniels, all that momentum coming off of that, you know, backflip. Tag made. You know, we we kind of joke and we, we kind of kid, but I mean, it, those little tiny cuts, that sweat is going to sting. It's going to be an annoyance. Oh, look at that. That is finesse. Oh, my God. That is what I'm talking about. Bullet Club just being too sweet. And this creates a distraction for Daniels. Yeah, it gets inside his head, but now he's got these little tiny cuts all over his body. That sweat's going to get him. It's going to sting through the entire match. I mean, the, the, there's there's something there. I mean, these uh, back rakes, you know, that Ooh. They can get in the way. Open hands. Ooh. Oh. Beautiful. Sweeping the leg. Oh, wow. man. Step up, Senton. Moonsault. Cover. One, two. two. I mean, how beautiful was that? How beautiful was that combination of moves? Uh, greatest tag team ever, maybe? Wait. After, after just, we're I seeing. mean, come on. I mean, come on. Look at this. It's just great amazing tag. together. Ooh. What about Great Bash Heel? What about Grills of Destiny? I mean, I, I agree. I like what we're seeing, but we're putting them ahead of, of, of those teams first here. Are you saying that they're not as good as those guys, if not better? Do they have the tag team title? We're, we're putting the card in front Give of the horse chance. here. Give them a chance. Well, I'm not saying they can't be, but greatest ever. Give it time. Give it a moment. Side headlock here. And putting the pressure on. Daniel's trying to create some noise, as is Zane, to find out and figure out with head down where his partner is. Elbows now to the midsection. Bay breaks his grip. Daniel's off the ropes. Fresh off a win. Oh, STO plants Bay down. Coming off a win against Carl Fredericks. Can he do it in tag action? Tag made to Maybe. Phantasmo. Needs to make a tag to Zane. It's Phantasmo. Up and over, Daniels. Ducks the right, rolls through, makes the tag to Alex Zane. Connects with a second right. And look at him go. Catches him with that clothesline. Sending Man. ELP down. He is feeling saucy tonight. Forms oh. connecting back elbow now. Charging in, sweeping the leg. That is a cool sweep. Oh, oh, my, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Flipping guillotine. One, two, and oh. Just a two count there. Ooh, that was a close count. That was a close count. None of us would have wanted to see that. Well, I think Zane and Daniels would have. Except those two, maybe. Big chop there from Zane. And now perching El Fantasmo up. And Bay. Ooh, Bay knees to ELP. Whoa! No! Hurricane Rana plants ELP. Two hit. Just a two count there. Forearms exchanged here. Bay and Daniels. Daniels driving the forearms in. Oh, what a kick. Oh, nobody holding the back hand. Missed. Gets him with the uppercut, charging in, up and over they go. Both of them. ELP. There you go. Roll up. One, One two. two. Yeah. Come on, was that three? Oh, just a two count. And save. Oh. Pump knee. What a knee. Ooh, follows him in. Big clothesline to the back. 
And he might make a run for the border. He might be looking for that crunch wrap supreme. Catches Chris Bay on the apron. And look at the think outside the bun here. Outside the taco, you mean. It's Alex Zang. Oh! Nobody home. ELP. Go forth. It's over. Let's do this. Finish it. Has it hooked? It's over. Got him. Hooks the leg. Two. What? what? Just a two count there. How in the world? How in the world did Alex Zane kick it out of the finish? That's it. Oh, my. that is a super kick. Sudden, sudden death. Wow. At the of 59 seconds, your winners of the match, the team of Chris Bay and El Fantasmo. Maybe the talks of greatest team of all time are just a little bit premature. After seeing that. But you got to start somewhere. And this team of Bay and El Fantasmo really showing great cohesion, beating yeah, Alex Zane. Yeah, Chris Bay and El Fantasmo. Christopher Daniels. What a win. That's right. This was a victory over the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels, and one of the most exciting high flyers in the world, Alex Zane. This is a solid, solid victory. Certainly was. There you see your victors, Chris Bay, El Fantasmo. Great effort by Zane and Christopher Daniels. Couldn't find a way to victory tonight. But an interesting team. Maybe we'll see more of them here on New Japan Strong, Alex. Fans still to come. Coming up next, our huge main event. The main event of the entire Mutiny Tour. Tomohiro Ishii taking on Big Demo, and that is coming up next. Wow. Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Today's main event, single match, scheduled one for over the 30 minute time limit. Yes. The main event of the entire Mutiny Tour is upon us. And what a collision this will be. 
a match nearly seven years in the making coming to you only on New Japan Strong. And there he is, six foot four, 334 pounds of ruthlessness. It's Big Damo. Big Damo. 191 centimeters, 141 kilograms. The Peaks of Belfast! Big Damo! From Northern Ireland, this man has fought his way throughout the UK, throughout Ireland, throughout Europe. Made an international name for himself, but perhaps no match bigger than the one against his opponent that he is facing today in 2015 that established himself as a force on the international stage. It was one of the most hard-hitting bouts anyone has ever seen. And if tonight's main event of the entire Mutiny Tour is even half as destructive, we could be seeing yet another instant classic, the Clash of the Titans, one that could go either way, that will likely be decided in its final moments. Two evenly matched men who are among the biggest, strongest, have the highest pain tolerance in the world. It will take a Herculean effort for either man to be defeated here today, Al. No doubt about it. And the kind of battles and wars that we've seen from Mohiro Ishii, the Stone Pitbull, the kind of battles that he's been a part of, incredible. The kind of, you know, the, 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 the holding. The Stone Pitbull. Talk about the uh, pain threshold. He, Tomohiro Ishii, has had to endure a lot of pain. He has a really high pain threshold. He has no choice. I mean, the monsters, the, the giants that he's facing in his career. And tonight will be no different. Ishii has been the king of the Never Openweight Championship. He's had more reigns that total over 500 days than anyone that has competed in the New Japan ring. But one man that has had his number, that had his number, who used Ishii's name to put himself on the map, stands across from him here nearly seven years after their first encounter. It was a classic then, will we see a classic here? Damo obviously with the the size advantage, the reach advantage, the weight advantage. The experience edge goes to Ishii. Championships held advantage goes to Ishii. As you see Ishii, to, to combat these power moves, he needs to lower his hips. He needs to get his hips under Deimos to try and use as much center of gravity as possible. Ooh. That was a hard shot to the, to the rib cage area. Oh, and look at Ishii. Ishii's not going to back down. Oh, holding on to the beard. Oh, connecting with those forearms. Off the ropes. Sh oh. Shoulder to shoulder, nothing. nobody moves. That did nothing to Big Damo. Again, Ooh. shoulder to shoulder. Off the ropes. Oh, wow. I think that the strategy for Ishii is going to have to be to to exhaust Big Demo. Exhaust Big Demo. Continue with, with the attacks, with the offense. Try to be quicker. Let Big Demo tire himself out and capitalize in those moments. But Ishii's got to be careful because Ishii, for every, for every one strike Demo's landed, Ishii has, has had three or four additional movements to try and stagger Demo. Yeah. Definitely going to be a matchup of of strike and counter strike. Say he's saying more. Ooh. That forearm staggered Ishii. 
Oof. He's going to need to absorb punishment. Oof. And I agree with your strategy, Alex, but I got to wonder how much endurance does Ishii have? You know, it, it's one thing. It's one thing to have that game plan against somebody who's a little bit lighter or less strong. When, when you're taking shot after shot from a 300 pound plus man who's had your number, who's every bit as dangerous as you are, that adds up. It's, it's, what, it's, like, debiting a, it's like debiting a bank account. I mean, there's yeah. only so much you can withdraw at any given time. That's the thing, is uh, that's what, what's made uh, Ishii so resilient throughout his career, is that he just uh, happens to have a little bit more in his bank account. And right now, as Big Damo is unleashing all, the, all this offense on Ishii, Ishii can withstand a lot of pain for a long time. If he can Ooh. only out, outlast, withstand all this pain, eventually Big Damo is going to slow down. All these power moves, all this offense that Big Damo is unleashing on Ishii, it's going to slow him down. Ooh. Oh, oh, man. Well, that... Delivers it to the midsection. One, two. Two count there. That was vicious. That's a lot of weight coming down. Certainly was. You saw the oxygen just being pushed out from the diaphragm through the esophagus of Ishii. Now grabbing those ribs may have may have broken a rib on that senton there. And if his ribs are uh, if he's hurt hurting in his rib cage area, it's very difficult to breathe. Very difficult to catch your breath to recuperate. Damo with a forearm there. So far, it's been a very dominant performance by Big Damo. Just beating Ishii up. Just toying with him there. I don't agree with this necessarily. They call him the Stone Pitbull for a reason. I mean, it's the demeanor. You, you aren't going to really get inside the head of Ishii. Ooh, but you might be able to, to strike it and damage it. Ooh. Ooh. And Damo following through. Countered Irish whip into the corner. Oh, big clothesline. Holding on to those ribs a little bit. You can see that he's still hurting. Wow. And it's Ishii turning the tide here. Knife edge chops. Forearm combination. Oh, man. Just roaring back, though, is Damo. There you go. Continues with the sequence of chops and forearms. And Big Damo is on his knee here. Notice that. He's a little bit smaller. He cut him down to size, that issue. It's the first time that we see Big Damo on that level. To my earlier point, though, it, it looks like Ishii draping himself over the ropes. It's, he, again, it's maximizing your movement. I don't know that Ishii's used to having to deliver four strikes for, to counter every one that his opponent delivers. Oh, look at that. They, and, and normally Ishii would just th put his opponent where he wants him. Damo with a counter, Ishii with a forearm. No, and, uh, and uh, yeah, you don't typically see that. I, I agree with you. I recall the battle that he said with Brody King and how much he had to withstood from Brody King, another really big man. Oh, oh man. <laughs> High cross body cover here. One, two. Two count there. And Damo's got to like his where he's at right now. He's had Ishii fighting out of a defensive posture for the majority of this match at this point. Charging in Ishii, trying to turn the tie there with a boot in the corner. Comes back, close line. Ishii cannot afford any mistakes with a guy like Damo. And both men roaring back at one another. The forearms delivering, connecting here. Ishii to Damo, staggering the big man from Belfast. Great separation, oh, wow. follows through with a pump kick. Damo with a huge opportunity here. Front face lock. Ishii in the corner. 
right in front of us now. Perched. Second rope on the inside. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow. And Dame was looking, looking to go high risk here. Looking for the superplex. Front face lock. He has oh, it. Oh, wow. Fisherman superplex. What? How? It's unexplainable. Pump kick out of the way. Ishii forearm connects. Damo caught. Front face lock here. Ishii maybe looking for that brain buster. Oh. Instead, Man. suplex delivers. <laughs> Referee Jeremy Marcus checking on both competitors. Normally, again, Ishii might have gone for a brain buster, tried to finish it. But that's the experience of Ishii. We've seen it a couple times where he's made adjustments to his normal game plan to be able to adjust for the size and power of Demo, who's back up now. Ishii off the ropes. Clothesline on Demo. Another one connects. Nobody home there. Ishii popped oh. up, slammed down. Oh! Elbow connects, hooks the legs. Two and. Wow. Two count there. Damo now wondering what he has to do, what shot he can take to try and finish off Ishii. Ishii wondering where his grip on the match had went. He was just in control not so long ago. Now trying to lead Ishii back to his feet. Headbutt. Headbutt to the gut, that's, uh, that's good. There you go. Oh, oh man! <laughs> Pump drop kick! That's that sent Ishii to the other side of the ring. Just when Ishii starts to get going, Big Demo cuts him off with a big power move. And yeah, you're right. Like, what can Ishii do? Big Demo up and over. Ishii caught. Demo oh. sends Ishii down. Demo. Oh. Cover lateral press too. Is this a junior heavyweight trapped in a heavyweight's body? Certainly seems like it. Demo giving Ishii everything he's got at this point. And, it, and if that minutes. stick and move strategy like you outlined earlier for Ishii was in play, Ishii's gotta be real careful at this point because Demo's one move away from beating Ishii here. Waist lock, breaking the grip with a shot from that huge elbow, caught. Ishii Ooh. delivers. Left, right, left, right. Ishii off the ropes. Oh, Demo. catches him again with a scissor kick. Has him up. Ishii in trouble here. Oh, slams him down. Oh, sent man. on again. Demo, what a see. Second rope on the inside. Demo, bomb, no. no Ishii one was home. able to move at the last second there. That buys him a little bit of time, just a little bit. Damo's the first one back to his feet here, Alex. I mean, Ishii has taken a lot of punishment and a lot to, to his uh, rib cage area, his sternum. How much energy does he have? And is he even able to conserve it? Oh my God. Well, he might be looking to, to drain the tank here. Belly to back suplex. Ishii back to his feet. Opportunity knocking for the Stone Pitbull. Looking for the Lariat here. Off the ropes. Lariat blocked. Caught. Forearm delivered. Big Damo has done his homework. He came prepared for the Stone Pitbull. Forearm connecting. Oh, oh man. Right on the jaw. Larry in the corner. Ishii. Larry in again. Got him. Cover. One, two. Oh. 
two and seven eighths for the Stone Pit Bull. And what does Ishii have left? Did he just call for the Brain Buster? Can he pick up a, a man of this size? We're going to find out. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Demo countered. Ishii, body lock. Demo fighting out of it. Blocks the lariat. Oh. Ishii with an insiguri. As Demo crumbles to the mat. Ishii. Off the ropes. Oh, basement got lariat. Got him that time. Hooks the leg. Two. Just a two count there. Ishii in the center of the ring. Going for it. Has got him. him. Got him. Brain buster. That's it. Hooks the leg. Two. Three. Wow. 13 minutes and two seconds into the match. Your winner, Tomohiro Ishii! And a match with high expectations. Lived up to every single one of them. It certainly delivered. Another hard hitting matchup. Nearly seven years after their first encounter, Tomohiro Ishii avenges his loss to Big Demo. And there were so many points in that match where it could have gone either way, but Ishii proving victorious here tonight. And fans, what a main event that was here on the Mutiny Tour, our next stop, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the 2300 Arena. What a Mutiny Tour it has been. It's been our pleasure to call it for you. For Alex Kozlov, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Thanks for watching. Happy wrestling, everybody. We'll see you in Philadelphia.